Y'all just tell me who the nominee is going to be. Let me know when you guys are finished fighting amongst yourselves who I got to vote for in November to keep Hitler out the White House. That's all I want to know. Who I got to vote for to keep Hitler out the White House. Y'all do your thing. Play in traffic all you want in front of these Republicans, acting a fool in front of these people instead of privately declaring your stuff. But don't text me no more because I'm not taking no more of these texts. Just let me know when you guys are finished figuring it out, Democrats, because I know y'all the freak out people. Go ahead and freak out. Have your conversation. And then let me know who I got to vote for to keep Hitler out the White House. That's it. I'm done. Oh, and by the way, if it's Biden in a coma, I'm going to vote for Biden in a coma. I don't even really particularly like the guy. I, a lot of his policy, don't like him. He's not Donald Trump, right? Yeah. Hitler, White House. We keeping him out. Keeping Project 2025 out. That's all I care about. Up and down the ballot from the rooter to the tutor. School board all the way up to White House and everything in between. Governors, members of Congress. I'm just going to vote all the way down to keep these people out. The Project 2025 thing is the whole Republican Party. At this point, it's not about Biden. It is not about him. It's above me now. There's a Best Western next door. It is about keeping Donald Trump and his Project 2025 friends out of power. That's it for me, y'all. Y'all let me know what you think. And another thing. (laughs) I've always got another thing. You guys do know that in 2020, y'all Democrats had choices of young people. You had a young LGBTQ guy, Mayor Pete. You had a Latino. You had... uh, Kamala Harris, you had Liz Warren, you had all these choices that were all younger than Biden, (laughs) fresher and newer than Biden. And you know who y'all picked to be the president and the nominee? Joe Biden. (laughs) He beat all the young people. So yes, we have a gerontocracy problem on the Democratic side. Way too many of these oldie goldies that don't seem to want to sit down and retire. But when given the choice between the young and fresh and Joe Biden, Y'all picked Joe Biden. (laughs) That was what you picked. So he's in there because Democrats actually picked him in the first place. So just keep that in mind that you've been given options in the past. And this is what you picked. And nobody stepped up to choose to run against him in the primary. So once again, Democrats went out and voted and picked. If you try to undo that choice, like 57 million some odd Democrats voted in these primaries. So what are you going to do? You're going to just tell them F off. We're going to pick somebody different. That's not him or Kamala Harris, who was on that ticket, too, on those ballots. That's not democracy. (laughs) This choice has been made. And so, again, unless he decides to walk away, this is your choice. It's like when you go to a wedding, you got chicken or fish. You can eat chicken or fish or just be hungry. Or like when I was growing up in my house, it's what mom made for dinner or go to bed. It's your choices. You, You don't always get choices that you love. You get what mom made for dinner or take your ass to bed. And in this case, it's either what mom made for dinner or Hitler. (laughs) I'm voting for whoever ain't Hitler and it ain't him. And I'm going all the way down that ballot rooted to the two to school board up to the white house. This is about power and about picking not Hitler. (laughs) That's it. That's it. That's me. Okay. Now I'm really done. Bye.